minimum they fucked, but they were not like dating, dating, you know? It was before Glee. What? I wasn't expecting a threesome, dude. What the hell? A sixum. It was almost a full orgy. That's why I you was grumpy. Told me because you, you love were saying James no! I want to right here, right now, have a funeral. And that is for <laughs> what Glee yeah, yeah, yeah. is pre-episode mid-season break. Because it's a new show. Oh, welcome back to Binge of Cringe. Holy shit. This episode is gonna be a fucking banger. Um, okay. I want to make sure, so Stan's try and remind me to like update you guys on like some fucking cringe admin stuff, just like thanking you guys about the Patreon and stuff, but we don't need to do that now because we've got a lot of stuff that we need to get into. Let's get into it. A couple of episodes ago, you stumbled across a Twitter account uh, that was I to did, do with and Glee. I started reading it. It was um, Schuster's wife. I can't remember her yeah, name. It was, it like was a Terry Schuster Updates. Um, yeah <laughs> and so it's funny. it's a fucking amazing account and there are so many tweets that prove that categorically prove glee is in the zeitgeist and mm -hmm. you cannot deny it after today's episode but before we get there in researching to find tweets that didn't spoil the show because most mm -hmm. of the tweets are about like seasons <laughs> end of season one all the way to the end of season six which obviously yeah. we haven't got to yet i had to like cherry pick ones that were relevant to whatever the fuck we've seen um, right because otherwise it'd be like wait shoe got abducted by aliens and you know it <laughs> yeah. would reveal the whole crazy story that you've that. predicted that plot line by the way that's insane <laughs> Nicki minaj comes in in a fucking uh she has a song about aliens i think right so it uh, uh yeah you might be conflating starships that would be uh, yeah, starships that's, that's is a glee her. song for sure is that her yeah that's Nicki minaj thank you and who Haley williams we both got that Haley williams who's this other person that's who's the other person <laughs> Oh, I was thinking airplanes. Yeah, what are you? What am I? What is Starships? Uh, I think it's just Nikki. Is it? Or maybe oh, maybe I'm thinking uh, Iggy. airplanes. I think Iggy Azalea's oh. might be on that. I don't know. What the fuck are you talking Starships about? Starships are meant to fly. Oh, that's not what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking airplanes. What, what's that? Yeah, song? that's what I. That's I told you that. <laughs> but this. Oh, it's B.O.B. It's. B. Yeah, B. but the reference that I was Hayley making oh, okay. was okay, Aliens Williams, and yeah. Nicki Minaj, which was right. Yeah. And you were like, no, that's Hayley Williams. So you were making yeah. a different thing that wasn't Aliens, and I'm what right, is and you're crazy. a starship, but a good airplane? <laughs> I'm looking okay, at yes. your soul right I'm now. Just, <laughs> there's no <laughs> and, so I'm just, uh, just a yes. <laughs> oh, we can agree. Um, but before we get there, in looking mm -hmm. for this account, uh, I was just opening Twitter and I saw the fucking most insane tweet. I'm about to reveal to Stans the insane tweet, uh, and you guys mm -hmm. will see it at the same time. Are you ready? And then we'll explain I'm it ready, for the yeah, we'll yeah. explain it for the audio fans afterwards. Okay, Are you Got ready? It. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> no, it's not stupid. It's real. Uh, this is I know, but this is okay, real. Let me let me say it out loud for the audio okay. listeners. It is a tweet from the account Pop Culture, and it's Quentin Tarantino and Trisha Paytas. And in the picture, it is Quentin Tarantino hugging Trisha Paytas, and then the second picture is him doing like the classic prom, like he's behind, she's in front, kind of like crouching down. He's got his hands over her her yeah. belly. It's like a very How is sensual this not picture. Blowing your mind, stands. This is fucking insane. I think this is not blowing my mind because I learned about Trisha Paytas maybe three weeks ago, and every day since then I have seen her with another celebrity or in another situation. <laughs> okay, but dating this, back ten this, years. This is for someone that knows quite a bit about Trisha Paytas. I yeah. would have put like a million dollars if someone had told me that uh -huh. she had like a relationship with fucking quentin tarantino i would have put yeah. my life savings on the fact that she Do didn't and that was a, a lie. relationship though okay, or is this fucked, just like okay at least at least that no yeah, yes yes this is multiple days this is multiple days they are clearly not just friends there is clearly something more going on oh. trisha has been very promiscuous in her life yeah, and that means that Quentin Tarantino sucked on Trisha Paytas' toes. <laughs> no. That's just a fact. Yes, that don't is, say that no. A, that is no, just a I'm fact. No, I'm saying no because I don't want to... I'm, it's in my head <laughs> now, but you yeah. are so right. <laughs> Do you think he made her wear the High School Musical outfit? <laughs> what? When she dressed up as Zac Efron. Oh, Bro, you this, are... you've got your... Th the fucking timeline stands. Hello? This was clearly early Trisha Paytas. She was you not... think this was before High School Musical 2? <laughs> This is before she reenacted it, yes. 
Really? I I I, yeah, I, I she really liked it like two years ago, Bates. and this is from like twenty years ago or something. Like this is mm. all. This tweet's from January tenth, twenty twenty four. I would say. <laughs> well, obviously the tweet is. That's not. <laughs> It was just an insane revelation. I cannot it believe it. It is really this is Jersey Shore real. vibes. Yeah, um, it's uh, she's got the full orange face, huge makeup, uh, bright pink lips. It, it's crazy. That's not the surprising part, to be clear. That's just Trisha Paytas. But the- right, but I think it dates you. Like, in terms of oh, chronologically. Okay, yeah. This was just a very strange side tangent because I, I had to fucking show you this, right? Like, this is fucking insane. Of course. That's um, what this podcast is for. Speaking of things that I have to show you, this one's at least yeah, I, related. I, can I, for the audio listeners, I want you guys to know that he is showing me, I can see the Chrome tabs, 20 to 30 Chrome tabs, all from Terry <laughs> Schuster fan account. Hey, so this is going to be a long We're intro. not getting there yet. We're not getting there if yet. If you're because... here for Glee, fast forward 45 minutes because I will slow this down. Stans, you sent me this next tweet. <laughs> I did send you this next tweet and then I tried to do a little bit with you when you were grumpy. Uh, wait was i grumpy what was the bit i feel like you were so this tweet is the glee reboot starring james corden as will schuster is due to begin filming early this year uh and uh, as people can see now because i saw a screenshotted version the added context is there's no glee reboot in production there are no reports linking james corden to the show and the co-creator yeah, of the show just a brad Falcher. and it's to, to yes, make people go oh my god that's fucking terrifying um yeah however i have seen posts since that say that there is a glee reboot in the works so it's literally it's a game of telephone starting with this someone saw yeah, it yeah i think it someone it is now rebooting glee because of this post but please <laughs> fucking jesus christ do not include james gordon that's why i was you grumpy told me because you, you were saying james no gordon. <laughs> no no james gordon we do not we disavow you said james he's gordon. a national treasure no, no you, you said he's the uk's you, nicholas cage you american you fuckers him. have <laughs> claimed him now he is yours we disavow no. he moved over to the states as soon as he crossed that border he was no longer a british citizen and will never be allowed back he you said instead of the king on your currency you wanted to put james corden <laughs> you said because he is actually a prize uh, i'm scrolling to try and find the post to see me be grumpy okay i, f- I found when you sent it to me um yeah. You sent me this, to be clear, with this exact thing, but cropped out, like you said, the bottom parts cropped out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I said, Lamau, I saw this too. Crops out the, this is not real Twitter notes, though. Mm-hmm. And then you just ignored that. So, hey, if anyone's not fucking reciprocating conversations, you're the one that was being cringe. You said, it's sure. your boy, James, UK <laughs> stay winning. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. You are not a habit. You can't stay winning. <laughs> and then I said what I just said. We disavow James. He's one of you now. You said you love him. Carpool karaoke, right? Big fat quiz. He's the king of England. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I, I want people to know I'm farming offline too. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, as long as fucking James Corden isn't involved with a Glee reboot, the possibility of that is at least exciting minus james corden mm-hmm. as long as he's away from it what and if I know he's you love the him. football coach don't you think he would be a good football coach oh fuck he would be a good football coach oh, i think he's a little too no. smiley he's not sad enough he's not baby girl enough, no but, but that would be what he would be as well there's no universe yeah. he's the fucking will schuster right no 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 i think that would be timothy chalamet because he's in everything nowadays oh uh wait that would wait Yo. Don't say that would be good. That would not be good. It would not he's, be he's good because child. he's too young, but yeah. he's the right kind of vibe. But I, I kind of see it. Wait. Uh, what's older Timothy Chalamet? What was the last Chalamet? Justin Bieber. Is he dead? <laughs> the last Chalamet sounds like a fucking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the last Chalamet. It's uh, Tom Cruise on the poster. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I, a medieval yeah, drama or something. That's crazy. Um, okay, yeah. we need to move on because we've not yeah, even touched a lot of this on mm-hmm. the fucking Terry Schuster fan account which perfect holy shit she is can i say the first thing i noticed by the way yeah and that is that not only is glee in the zeitgeist i was in the zeitgeist early and i actually think i would fit into the glee community because what i'm seeing here regular body big head Uh (laughs) yes you're actually so i was an early adopter (laughs) of regular body big head on thumbnails i thought you were gonna say what i'm seeing here is that everyone hates will um, what because... I'm seeing here is a big shit in mother's toilet and no one flush. <laughs> no one's flushing. So yeah, true. Yeah. She is serving uh, good. Um, yeah. yeah, people hate on Terry, but she was the original Will Ante. You're all just copycats. Actually, yeah. kind of true. Uh, she's mm. Terry, as always, you'll find she's spitting. 
Um, I don't want to say you're wrong, but she wasn't the original Will Ante, unless sh- it's after this. Because sh- 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 right point now, her out, don't point out the wrongs because Terry's fucking spitting. Terry's always spitting, and she is always sometimes spitting. Sometimes she, she goes a bit crazy. Will. But yeah. we'll, we'll we'll get to those. Um, I hope she comes back. That's my only thing. I don't want any spoilers, but I do hope she comes back. This was one of the posts that you saw originally that mm-hmm. uh, was kind of like a, a spoiler for real life that I was like, we need to talk about this on a different episode. This. Oh, my God. The one random celeb relationship that everyone moved on from, but you literally can't forget and think about every day. Do you think there was something inherently sexual about the student teacher dynamic when filming that caused this? Okay, well, I was wondering when this happened, so mm-hmm. I looked it up. I found an article, and it is yeah. from the the quote comes from Leah Michelle's, I think, autobiography that she wrote. Um, okay, and it was before Glee. What? It was. Uh, she calls it a Broadway minute, a Broadway beat. Sorry. Uh, oh. Which is like a, a thing that like the people, it, there's so much love and romance going on that people just like have flings and stuff. So I think right. minimum they fucked, but they were not like fucking dating, dating, you know? Uh, I mean, they're at this premiere though in a very sensual position. Oh, in the in the original tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is just them at Glee. This is not like, mm. this was not pre-Glee. What's crazy is... Imagine going as, like, casting for the girl in Glee, knowing Mm -hmm. that Matthew Morrison had pretty much got the role, I'm pretty sure, like, when she was Mm -hmm. auditioning, and knowing that you've fucked the the teacher. That's crazy dynamic. Especially now, looking back at the fucking cringe episode, they must have wrote that, like, after the fact. They were like, hey, these guys have got chemistry. That's crazy! Right. What is the age gap between Leah Michelle and Mr. Shu? I would say probably not as bad as you'd imagine right uh, less than presumed okay you look up uh matthew morrison i will look up leah michelle age and don't look at my screen and then we can reveal age okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna wait is this matthew morrison why is is he a chad now uh he's always been a chad what do you mean oh yeah but look at man mewing dude all the time with his chin he actually is and (laughs) the curly hair i'm a curly hair guy i like curly hair it was not doing him any favors oh has he got rid of it well, well, if you Google it, this is the oh, image that I've comes been spoiled. Up. People also oh, search sorry. for has shown me his age. <laughs> uh, uh, so okay. I know, yeah, and me... it's not crazy. Um, wait, but how long ago was Glee? Oh, maybe it uh, is crazy. Wait. wait. She was born in 87, and the show came out in 2000. When did the show come out? Uh, 2009, I think. So she was 23. Uh, and it sh- Which they means if she before. dated him before Glee, so let's call it two years, she was 21 and he was 29. Dude, is I'm oh, not trying to say hey, problematic, hey. but hey, it if was she also, was any younger. I, I know you hate when I bring this up. It was a different time mm-hmm. stands, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. People loved it back then. Uh, yeah, that is fucked nowadays. I feel like that would be, people would not be happy if that happened now. Okay, uh, this one is a recent tweet that Mm -hmm. uh, is just shows how fucking batshit crazy this account is. (laughs) Right. So there is a tweet that says privilege hierarchy from Dreamleaf, and it says tag yourself. And just to give an example, number one on the privilege hierarchy is cis het white man. Hell yeah! High five, brother. So true. Yeah. Look at us. We're number one. Two number one. We're number one. Uh, And it goes down through like number five is cis by white man. Number sixteen is cis lesbian black woman and then number 32 on the uh on the right side the farthest thing you can be on the privilege hierarchy the according thing to the stans hates the most is don't hate them at all in fact i love them i support them trans lesbian black women and the response from terry schuster updates on this is 33 <laughs> adding something lower than that on the privilege hierarchy and it says gleek yeah and it has six thousand likes over a quarter yeah. of a million views on a tweet that is just 33 Gleek. Hello? Yeah. Tell me it's not in the zeitgeist stands. Come on. Uh, That's pretty good. Terry Schuster Updates is my far favorite Glee account for sure. They've got so many funny tweets that I can't show you because it's all just fucking Glee references. Later seasons. (laughs) Uh, But I managed to find some that we can talk about, including I found like three tweets that are to do with today's episode that we can cover, which is crazy. Um, Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, this is an insane one. I'll let you <laughs> read it, Stats. <laughs> Okay, the original tweet that was quote retweeted is men at house party saying this song was on FIFA. And I will say that struck me right to my core. That is a thing, 100%. Yeah, there's a lot of songs where I'm like, I know this, or Guitar Hero. It's like, I know this from FIFA. I know this from Guitar Hero, whatever it is. Was FIFA like in the US? Like, was it a big game? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, for sure. FIFA was one of the most popular games. There's a song called uh, Fit But You Know It by The Streets, a UK. Oh, dude. Dude, wait, yeah. you're so much more British than I thought you were. I've been British since I was fucking born, bro. Yo. Yeah, that song was on a FIFA and I loved it. Uh, like, I liked it a lot. Yeah, there's there's so, like, FIFA, I think, describes... I didn't even really like FIFA, I'll be honest, like, as a game. Because uh, okay. I, I wasn't really that into football back then. So I was like, why the fuck would I fucking play it? I'd, I'd go for, a, like, kickabout or whatever, but I'm not going to fucking play it on a game. That's crazy. Um, mm-hmm. But all my friends were, so they would play the music from FIFA, and I would unironically, like, listen to FIFA soundtracks. <laughs> like, yeah, rather it was than good. play I the mean, game. It was, <laughs> a FIFA soundtrack is essentially, like, radio for this group, which is, like, white yeah. men 14 to 26, right? It's like, so it's a perfect... Uh, anyway, of so we've egg. we've uh, ham-fisted the punchline, which is the quote yeah. retweet. Yeah, uh, the quote retweet, uh, what Terry said is, gays be at house parties saying this song was on Glee. <laughs> That's you talking about I was going to say, yeah, I'm both. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the uh, Journey song, whatever it is. Don't stop believing. No, that's not just me, but also... I'd that's be just saying you're it, like, it's actually famous from Glee. I'd be saying it about, like, fucking Gold Digger and Jump. Yeah, that, that, I, that is a fact. You, I cannot deny that about yeah. you. And like over the music, I'm shouting like, oh, this one's they, Glee is a great version of this song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I prefer the Glee version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can we put the Glee version on? Uh, okay, we got more, we got more. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think there would be gay marriage without Glee seasons one to three. <laughs> Dude, link me that. I'm going to retweet this right now. <laughs> I don't want to go to her account because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to spoil myself. Yeah, but if you, yeah, have you a can't, link you here, can't. You're right, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a quick little retweet. <laughs> you read to me that because it's based as hell you what's yeah, crazy yeah. is you've only really experienced two episodes that go into this and i guess there's a little britney santana kind of thing going on um right. but you wait till kurt fully goes down the like glee game like storyline because okay there's some twists and turns and we haven't even got to like the main part which i don't think we get to this whole season i think there's like a character oh that isn't introduced till season two that this mm-hmm. is basically referencing <laughs> so okay um but uh, hey no spoilers no spoilers <laughs> and if it weren't for season four through six it wouldn't be a potential danger of getting overturned <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we don't talk about seasons four through six this i just saw and is fucking crazy uh people realizing that this is matthew morrison will always make me wet my pants this is fucking a performance or like the vmas maybe or something of, sure. of beyonce? beyonce yeah this is matthew morrison oh my god she wants to kill him she's actually <laughs> Do dogging think, michael morrison you think she's a glee uh, and she, no, she, she, knows she, she, gonna, she literally was gonna slushy him what do they call it icy him she's gonna throw uh, a yeah, slushy right, in his slushy. face yeah yeah but i, I yeah. think she could like have watched glee and be like fuck this guy <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's crazy. She's a hater. Oh yeah, this one's fucking. In- this one's insane, but it's like insane that the original tweet exists. Um, mm-hmm. Studios are avoiding marketing musical- musicals as such due to feedback from test audiences, uh, and they're trying to trick them into not thinking that it's a musical, which mm-hmm. worked. I don't know uh, if you know about this, but uh, like if you've seen any trailers for both mm-hmm. of these movies, not a single song or piece of like the musical is shown at all. Totally. Yeah. And that's intentional by the studio. <laughs> yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. I didn't want to go and see Wonka because I thought the trailer looks fucking awful. But it then I found terrible. out it was a musical and it, I was like, uh-huh. I might go because it's a musical. Yeah. But like the fact that they're trying to like trick and hide it makes me not want to go. It's fucking so stupid. I just don't I understand. I will say that. Mean Girls has more of a leg to stand on here because there's been a Mean Girls musical on Broadway for a while, what, you know, almost a decade now at this point. Yeah. And they put a little music note in the A, and so it's like real fans know what's happening. <laughs> real here. fans know. It's so, uh, no, I think it's just so cringe because there are also like musicals do fucking really well. It, like if you if you market a good musical, it does well. It's like 
There's uh, Greatest Showman recently has fucking done insanely well. Sure. La 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 nearly won a fucking Oscar. Like, it's not like there aren't fucking musicals that are doing well that are in, like, the last 10 years or whatever. Just Mm -hmm. do a good musical and people want to go and see a musical. Just because, if you're like, if people don't want to go and see this as a musical, don't do it as a musical then. Don't, like, remarket a musical as not a musical. Fucking morons. You No, you know what this is? Because I actually think they're spitting here. This is the Hamilton effect, where people got really into Hamilton and then got really annoying, and then there was like clapback of where people just don't want to be a part of that anymore. This and is so they crazy. Have, to hide it. have you have you pre watched parried this tweet stands? No, I have no idea. Uh, read the first reply. Don't blame Glee for this. This is Lin Manuel Miranda's fault. <laughs> Let's blame the real reason people don't like musicals anymore. <laughs> You it's true. It. It's actually you true. actually called it, but that doesn't make it okay. But uh, uh, I, no, I kind actually, of agree. I like Lin Manuel's musicals. I loved In the Heights. Yeah, but you Hamilton. also yeah. hate the fan base that are like surrounding them, <laughs> even though you uh, are kind yeah. of part of that. But yeah, that's self loathing. Yeah, that's normal. I think fan bases should have that. <laughs> you yeah, should love a thing and also be embarrassed about it, and then you're good. <laughs> Moving on to uh, okay, this is kind of spoilers, but okay, uh, it's so funny. I had to fucking include it. Um, uh-huh. Darren Chris, who is going to be in Glee, that I think joins in season two, um, okay. who plays a gay character, says he'll stop uh-huh. playing gay characters. I won't be another straight boy taking a gay man's role, which oh. uh, is a base of him. I don't know, but uh, like it's base of him now. But oh wait, this is from twenty eighteen. Sure. Wait. Terry Schuster's going fucking deep in the fucking... This is, that th- is crazy that this is five-year-old news. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is from 2018, but Terry Schuster just read Terry's tweet and it's one of the funniest things I've ever read, by the way. Uh, yeah, 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 go ahead. You take it away, Stas. <laughs> Honestly, he should have just played gay boys for the rest of his career. He might not be gay gay, but that's his fursona. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, Terry's based, but sometimes Terry maybe needs to put away the fucking Twitter characters yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. You shouldn't tweet after midnight, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now these next couple are going to be about the episode that we're going to watch, Stans. Amazing. So uh, it shows, A, how iconic this is going to be, and B, oh, someone in the comments, by the way, uh, said, I- I'm loving the episode. You guys are doing great. Joe needs to remove iconic from his fucking vocabulary. <laughs> you do say iconic a lot. Every it's, character outfit that everything and song is, is iconic. iconic, dude. It I have can't. to call it out when that I see it. That makes it not iconic, <laughs> to no! be fair. Like, can't, we were watching High School iconic. Musical 2, and every part of it is iconic. Like People reference it's it all not. the time. These are all the bits that are... Bet on it, oh. iconic. Fabulous, iconic. The fucking... Hula hula, uh, uh, two minute uh, Oh, that one. That unironically was iconic. Right? <laughs> it was a Thank big moment you. for cultural Thank appropriation. You. Sorry. So, yeah, we'll be able to see how iconic uh, these moments are. Um, this <laughs> one, uh, someone shat in the mother <laughs> toilet and did not flush, Stans. Yeah. I'm looking at this image and it says, How bad bitches change a song. <laughs> <laughs> and the quote retweet. Uh, and the quote we treat is Kurt telling the Cheerios band to play Four Minutes by Madonna, <laughs> which is going to be this episode. I which is going to be this Madonna episode. episode. Yes, is oh, the Madonna episode. Yes, this is going to go off. I was yeah. like, wait, they did this? And then I, mm-hmm. I was scrolling through and Terry quote retweeted with like the performance, it, but like completely mm-hmm. separate and unrelated to this. Um, right. And I didn't want to show you because I didn't want to spoil the actual fucking show. Um, but it's it's so good. It's going to go off I stands. Holy shit. I need to say that we did a video on my main channel that is not out yet, but it will be soon, that is about like the hottest memes. And I talked about how my fam- favorite memes are really just like quote tweets where they use someone else's right. meme yeah, image yeah. news to make their own joke. So her taking this photo, this random photo, and making it something that Glee fans can like, you laughed out loud at this is <laughs> yeah. delicious. It it's is perfect. perfect. Um, yeah. And I'm excited for you to, like, now you've got that mental, like, oh, when when's Kurt going to tell the Cheerios to play this song? You, you're going right. to see him serving cunt. This could be great. Is Four Minutes her song with Justin Timberlake? Uh, it Only is. Only got four minutes yes. to say the world. It's okay, such a cool. fucking banger. Holy shit. I'm so uh, excited. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a JT fan. Besides what he did to Britney, but... Hey. Uh, we don't stand, but we appreciate the music. We don't say thank you. We don't stand, but we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then finally, <laughs> as if... If this was like written by the gods, bestowed upon us, Terry Schuster uh-huh. updates, 
please watch our show because she tweeted me of watching people react to Glee for the first time on their Patreon was illegal. Holy shit. That's our, how many other people are doing that? How many other people I, are doing this? That's what I'm saying. Because I know- Are we the 10th Glee podcast? There's there's a Glee podcast that's literally uh, Artie and Tina that are re-watching oh. Glee, which makes sense yeah. because they're in the show. Uh, yeah. How, there can't be many other people that aren't in the show that are doing this, <laughs> right? I mean, maybe they are. You have to follow this account, by the way. You, you're literally uh, leaving her out to dry. Oh, that was a... I want every, the audio listeners to know, baller move. Refreshed <laughs> without clicking it, he had already followed. He had already, already followed. followed. But- so... I, there was a lot to go through, but fucking worth it as hell because Terry Shoe Store Updates, what a fucking amazing account. Um, yeah, I wish you account. could follow it, but there's going to be so many spoilers for so long. You can't follow this account for years. For man. years. <laughs> yeah, five years from now, I'll follow this account and she'll still be tweeting. She'll be tweeting about news from today yeah. with this stuff. She'd be like, Russia, when Russia invades Ukraine will be the tweet, and it'll be like when Schuster <laughs> met fucking Adina Menzel. Dude, she had some, some fucking shit. crazy tweets about uh, Israel-Palestine, but we won't get that, you know? What? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I thought it was real. Uh, no, yeah. she unironically has been like retweeting support for Palestine like continuously okay. throughout me right. scrolling through all of these. There was like there'd be right. a period of like ten retweets, and then mm-hmm. like, oh, I I wish Funny I could Glee suck joke. the balls dry of fucking Finn. He's so hot or something. It obviously wasn't that, That's, but uh, yeah, I would hope it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think. Uh, when when they're relevant and available, um, which might be every week, I will try mm-hmm. and find a really good Terry Schuster update, and we can have a Terry Schuster update update. <laughs> yes, yeah, literally, we can have yeah. an update section before we watch Glee of a Terry yeah. Schuster update. If there's if there's any fucking fire, which I imagine yeah. at least once a week, there's going to be some fire. So yeah, yeah, I think we can get a nice Terry Schuster update, whether it's new or old. Yeah. Uh, so moving on from that stands, I want mm-hmm. you to do the thing that you've not done for weeks. Oh, yeah. Get me fucking in there. I'm feeling good about it. I got my cloud lifter. The sound is <laughs> tight. You, you're ready? I'm ready I'm getting to the tell timer you up. what you missed on Glee. 30 seconds. Stans, are you ready? Uh, one second. Uh, if I'm getting into my mind palace. No, uh, you can't open tabs. Are you opening tabs? I'm- no, you, when you Why watch you this recording, you're going to feel second. like a fool. What are you doing? Because uh, you're going to look at this recording. You're going to see me looking straight down, uh, doing some weird thing with my head, unlocking my mind palace. That's what it's a key. Are it's you key. actually unlocking your mind palace? I, I literally I just unlocked my mind palace. Yeah, <laughs> on the fucking now, timer? Okay. I am ready. And here's what you missed on Glee. And here's what you missed on Binge and Cringe. Last week, I thought Kance was a naughty, naughty boy because he kept messing up Adina Menzel's name. And I thought he was just being rude. The entire time I was like, this is Adele fucked up Delzim. for him to do. Yeah, I tell Delzim. And it turns out, and I learned the lore about this, Nicolas Cage was giving her no! an award and he fucked it John up. John Travolta, the other face off. <laughs> Same thing. They face off. It was Nicolas Cage with John Travolta's face. And he messed up her name so bad that it entered the zeitgeist but i had never oh, seen that's it. it the time's and up. that's, that's what all. you missed on glee <laughs> sorry John you had Volta. to enter your fucking mind palace to remember nick cage <laughs> <laughs> yeah i you know what i, I the face off uh, really confused me i watched it a formative age <laughs> you've never been able to see them as two separate actors since because what if they stayed that way you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> the wickedly talented terry schuster <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny i forgot that's how he said it yeah uh okay so we're gonna hop into glee um yeah one thing that i kind of mentioned up top that i'm gonna mention towards the end thank you for subscribing to the patreon we got so many more new patrons um yes. if you are just joining and haven't been watching glee obviously there's a lot to keep track of um mm-hmm. but honestly if you like want a fast recap Watch like two episodes ago. I think it was season 14 was no season 13 was the mid season finale. Um, yeah. And I feel like if you watch that episode and then the end of it, you might get all fucking wrapped up and figure out what the fuck's going on and you can catch up kind of quicker. Um, 
But if you're not part of the Patreon and you've got this far and you've listened to every single episode, I'm looking at you. There's a couple of friends I have in real life that literally listen to the whole entire podcast, including uh-huh. our recap of the episodes and the films and things right. that we watch. But uh-huh. don't subscribe to the Patreon and don't watch the thing along with us. They don't they're even entering watch it. their mind palace. They don't they're, even watch it in their own time. They remember. They remember in 2006. <laughs> yeah, but there's a, a lot of it they don't remember because <laughs> so one of them hasn't even watched Glee. It's crazy. And then it's a little treat because it's like, oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so if you're one of those people, consider subscribing to the Patreon. There's a bunch of really good stuff there. Um, and if you still aren't convinced, here's a little clip of us watching the show. Look, Jesse, I really like you, but I can't do it. It wouldn't be right for the team. What does the team <laughs> have to do with this? I, I assume she's using that as an excuse. My teammates wouldn't approve. Like uh, insert the meme of like I consent, I consent, I don't, and then it's <laughs> like the you know, club. isn't there someone you forgot to ask? And it's the Glee Club, bro. Tell Terry's account. It's a good tweet. That is a good tweet. Yeah, it's crazy. They played a song about you in that episode. <laughs> this is we not started yet. It just this is to sync the audio. <laughs> like a virgin. <laughs> Great. Uh, that was so funny. That has to be included in <laughs> no, the episode. Oh, no. Don't include it. So, it was just welcome back. Pants. L for me, I guess. Uh, what stands? <laughs> what do you think about the episode? Uh, it was a great episode, although I will say, you know, because sometimes we do audio tests, my hearing isn't that good. And it gets really bad when there's like a lot of different layers of noise. And so okay. the fact that oh. every conversation had yeah, a Madonna song yeah. behind it, I, I was like staring at the captions. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, so the whole entire episode, because I said during the recording, but for you guys that are insane and don't watch along, um, mm-hmm. this episode we were treated to Madonna the whole entire time. It's the Madonna episode. Uh, Madonna like knew Ryan Murphy, the like showrunner of Glee, They'd previously worked on something. So he just hit her up and was like, yo, I'm doing this fucking musical show. Can we have access to every single one of the songs that you've ever produced? Uh, <laughs> yeah. She was like, fucking And they go played for them it. all. <laughs> yeah. yeah the so they were like, show, they man. literally like went through them and it was part of the show. It wasn't even like they were just playing them in the background. It was like Sue Sylvester was so obsessed with Madonna in the show that she was forcing Principal Figgins to play it through the fucking the intercom, intercom. literally all day. Yeah. yeah 24 7. Um, so in the background of literally every single scene the music was just Madonna there was like I think five or six actual Glee performances of Madonna songs um, and five more songs were like played in the background there was like 11 total that they used in this episode so very Madonna um, and I would say I maybe knew like two three song stands what was your yeah. tally I think that's about where I was. I think I like all Madonna songs because they're just a bop. But I like, and for example, and one of them was a mashup. I didn't know that. I was like, yeah, this is yeah. good. This to is be clear, good. I only knew it was a mashup because they said, hey, I've mashed up these two songs <laughs> yeah. beforehand. I don't know that you heard that. But no, yeah. I did not hear it all because I couldn't hear anything in this episode because the entire time it was just like a virgin in the background. It was, so, it was tough. Uh, yeah, I, I think we've already started talking about the songs, so let's carry on. I think Like a Virgin is a very good place to jump off on the songs because, first of all, a bop. That was, you called it knowing that this episode was going to be Madonna, that uh, it was going to be based around Will and Emma. But yes. I wasn't expecting a threesome, dude. What the hell? Yeah, a sixum. It was almost a full a orgy. Sixum. Yeah. And they but like made it separate feel like orgies, that. to be clear. Yeah, because they were all singing duets that were like interspersing. And so for a second, it's like, okay, Finn and Santana. And oh, now Shu and Emma. And then it's like, Shu and Finn? You're like, wait, who's, who's in this room right <laughs> who's now? Who's singing to it who? Little this is crazy. Confusing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it did, like, when it was cutting through them, uh, I feel like they used a lot more of Rachel and Jesse singing, even when it cut to the other people, which was so funny, because they're yes. just the fucking best, dude. They're the two divas. And uh, they're very good. They should stay together forever. And I know that's mm-hmm. not going to happen, but I can dream, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I think we glossed over it a little bit. Or we're talking about Jesse. Jesse has transferred schools for Rachel. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he that happens now. way after, but yeah, you're right. That's Yeah, but crazy. I think it's important for people to know, you know, we've watched the episode now. Uh, at the beginning of the episode, Jesse tries to pressure Rachel into having sex. She says no. He apologizes. She says that they can't do it because, uh, you know, her glee club doesn't consent. Yeah, and the so way he that says, she well, says it is like, uh, I-, I can't do it because, and then she pauses and kind of like looks at the camera and goes, 
I have um, to shampoo my hair. My, yeah, t- yeah. my team don't let me. Um, mm-hmm. So the fucking horn dog that Jesse is goes, all right, well, I'll move schools. So I'm part of your team. Please fuck me. Please, please. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. You're ready now. Surely you're ready now. <laughs> Which is crazy. But um, it does feel an insane like route to go down if... Because uh, last episode, there was that dodgy look between Jesse and Adele Dazeem. That's like yes. a very crazy route to go down if he is doing something secretive and he's not just dating Rachel to move schools, right? Yeah. If Although... that's just for spying for a fucking glee club, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to assume, like, it wasn't real. He didn't sign the deal. He's going to go back to the other team. She's going to have her heart broken. Finn's going to save the day. Like, that would be the traditional network TV thing to happen yeah, here. I, and I until agree. proven otherwise, that's what I'm going to assume. But that's, that's what I mean. Like, if that's happening, there's, there's two universes, right? There's one universe mm-hmm. where there is a secret thing and he is actually spying. And this is all just a fucking ploy. And mm-hmm. that universe is crazy to switch schools to do that, right? That's like... Yes. I know we're living in Glee universe where they do crazy yeah, shit all the time. It's but cool though. <laughs> um, it's it's based of him, but that surely like he's at Vocal Adrenaline and he's talked about like getting loads of wins under his belt and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'm on my yes. third consecutive win, whatever. I think he's mm-hmm. like looking for future prospects. Uh, changing mm-hmm. schools halfway through your last year and then just for nothing. That's got to fuck up your grades a little bit, right? That's got to like, you got to fucking do some heavy lifting to be able to make sure that you can get to a decent school after that. That's crazy. And Yeah, but I do think it's like, if he clutches it, he clutches it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, isn't also, I think we've firmly established that McKinley High is kind of a fucking dog shit school that doesn't get any funding and underperforms everywhere apart from the Cheerios, which like... Yeah, well, because they're sucking up all the funding. <laughs> yeah, so to j- come and not be part of the Cheerios, but expect to do r- like really, really well, he's basically sacrificing his whole entire future career just to mm-hmm. sabotage a little bit. Or yeah. if he's not sabotaging a little bit and he's actually doing this because he wants to just fuck Rachel, that's even crazier. I it's... actually think both are so goaded. One is <laughs> secret insane. agent and one is love. It's love, dude. It's not, what do you want? Uh, okay, maybe love, but it's basically, he just wants to get his fucking rocks off, dude. And he's really annoyed that the Glee Club is getting in the way. So yeah, almost assuredly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit of both. Who knows? Uh, I will still say Jesse St. James kills it in every scene he's in. He's the best character and I love him. And uh, I wish I was Rachel in that performance. He's done pretty much nothing so far besides sing well. So I have no feelings. He's about charming him. as hell. Cute. He's good. Uh, people, sure. are, people were saying in the comments, they were like, damn, I didn't realize Jonathan Groff was this hot. What the hell? Um, mm-hmm. Because he doesn't really come across as like hot in like I don't know Mind Hunter or like uh, when he's playing the animated character in Frozen. You know he's not like he's right. not known to be like the fucking handsome hot guy. He's fucking mm-hmm. handsome and hot as hell in this dude. Sure, don't say sure, sure I, like that. You sure, are you're sure. fucking putting a pillow over you as you speak. You know, sure, yeah. yeah. I just don't think he's captain of the Mother Tannic and gonna hit the <laughs> what was it? No, uh, because that belongs to I serve. That's that yeah. is a joint award <laughs> to Kurt and Sue Sylvester this episode because my god True. did they serve. They were fucking uh, there was cunt yeah. flying everywhere, Stance. It was crazy. It was actually great. And I think Kurt's storyline and having fun and mixing the Cheerios with uh, n- new directions, nude erections is yes. uh, it was good and fun. Uh, but okay, it was good and fun, but also it, it came out of fucking nowhere, and I feel like wasn't really given any like weight or addressed at all, which is insane. Um, yeah, you were talking about it like, are they on the team? And for me, I was just like, who gives it? Like, sometimes they'll do a thing in an episode, and the next episode pretend like it never happened. And so I was yeah, assuming I'm just it's like yeah, they're going to do that again because they've established, yeah, we're on both teams, but maybe. Oh yeah, no, they actually did establish. I'm talking before that scene. Yeah. I was like, oh, who cares? They're just like performing, and now it's like, oh, there's something here. There's another. No, that's a huge thing. If there's two fucking Glee Club members are performing with the enemy, that's a big thing. They had to at least mention the something. enemy. Who 
care. I feel like for me, it's not like adversarial in season one. It's more of like a meme. Dude, right? we have been, season. you have done, you've flip flop. You are Quinn. Okay. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm you, Quinn. Me and you Quinn. are Quinn. Cause every episode of this fucking show, you flip flop yeah. on what you decide people are. You're like, we literally talked about someone leaving comments, calling you a villain off the podcast. This is like, we this isn't even a callback to something we talked about this episode. This was in between recording the podcast and doing the live commentary. Uh, I was like, someone was roasting you for calling someone a villain. Um, yeah. And you were calling Sue a villain, and I was saying how I thought it was funny because I was saying I wouldn't say Sue is a villain. I wouldn't say Quinn is a villain. And you're agreeing with me now, but previously you were the person that brought up that they were villains. I'm going to be it. honest. I'm only talking about Quinn. Quinn, not a villain to me. Child. Sue, villain. Big villain. Big you, villain in energy. In that episode, you were specifically talking about Quinn being a villain. Sometimes. Hey, <laughs> we can change our mind. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, feel but like don't I gaslight. You can change your yeah, mind. The thing that I remember, you changed your mind. The is thing what I'm that saying. I remember is is defending Quinn and saying she is a 16 year old girl who was pregnant, and so I don't begrudge her any choices. You know what I mean? Like what she, whatever she does, is fine because that's fucking insane. Uh, yeah, eventually you were letting yeah. her off. Um, yeah, but so this episode, I feel like it's crazy to me that two people can join the Cheerios uh, that are just like disgruntled because they're not getting any solos, but they haven't been getting any solos for fucking ages. It's not like a new thing that's happened. And then they just right. didn't really address it at all. And then Sue's like, fuck it. Yeah. Come and join my squad. I'll add singing into the Cheerios. Uh, it just, yeah. it's kind of insane, but it's, it's insane the way that they added it. it. It feels like currently every single episode, they're just going, Oh yeah. Now this exists. Right? Yeah. Like last episode, they went, oh, yeah, now Finn and Rachel are dating, but now they're not. Yeah. Um, this episode, oh, yeah, people have just joined uh, the other squad, and, and now they're in both. Who cares? Um, yeah. Hell, yeah. I'm, I'm for it. Let's get silly. There's just so much happening every episode, and I would like them to carry weight and address some of the more crucial things that, like, are, uh -huh. like, through-line plots that are happening. Like... Fucking Will Schuster cheating! Oh my god! If you, I'm actually leaving the pod if you bring it up again. It's if you're not listening to the episodes with us, it is the only talking point this guy has. It's all he cares it's the about. Only talking point, but oh they can't do a whole god. entire episode about yeah. fucking the yeah. Will Schuster going down. I am a piece of shit. I don't treat women right. But yeah. he's thinking he's a piece of shit. He's not treating women right because he's worried that he's pressuring emma into having sex not the right. fact that he fucking cheated on emma and then made her feel bad it's they weren't crazy. exclusive you know what i mean it's not exclusive at all crazy because she doesn't know and she wouldn't be fucking doing the whole i want to fuck you come over to my place and fuck me like a virgin she wouldn't be doing any of that if she knew it's so I mean, crazy maybe because some of that i here this is going to be me getting maybe even sappy and like leaning into what the episode was trying right. is like we got a madonna episode she's a strong independent woman i think emma could be like taking control of herself taking control of her sexuality yeah Saul's schuster like if he did that maybe she still does that but with someone else who knows She's, I'm, she's yeah, no, I'm power. fine with I, I, I'm. It's the Schuster part that I have a problem with. Fucking, oh, she can for go sure. and fuck whoever they want. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. all all power to women. She's killing it. Mm -hmm. Schuster's so fucking cringe, and it's crazy how much they have like just tried to erase history. Um, yeah, in the history that they told last episode and made it a whole pivotal plot. Right? If they just didn't do that, just yeah. don't don't write it in the show if you don't want to fucking address it. Why did you write yeah, he, literally he everything cringe, happens the bro. same? He it, been cringe, that's all I can say. <laughs> he has been cringe. But what like this one doesn't it's like the Ackerfellas, but it's like a mm -hmm. uh, emotional fucking through line that they've been building. At least Ackerfellas was like right. episode three, and we can kind of forget about it because it was near the like early on in the show. Right? Mm -hmm. We're episode 15, 14, and they're sabotaging a love story that they've been <laughs> setting up since episode one with mm -hmm. cheating and then making us pretend like it didn't happen. It's insane.
And yeah, no one, they will never bring it up again. I want to, I just, right here, to. right now, on to. this podcast, have a funeral. And that is for what <laughs> Glee yeah, yeah, yeah. is pre-episode uh, mid-season break. Because it's a new show. I can already feel it, and we're only two episodes in. But this show, after the mid-season break, is going to be a new show. You're going to have to rewrite the rules. It's going to uh, get zany. I, it's going to get weird. I said during the recording um, mm-hmm. the. I am I I was like am I gonna have to fucking just pretend like that didn't happen so I can enjoy the show again <laughs> and like because yeah, all of these story are. beats that they're doing with Will and Emma are like we're supposed to as a viewer we're supposed to be like oh my god that's amazing that he's being so nice and they're so cute together and I'm so happy that they're together and all the time I'm just screaming that he's a piece of shit and that she needs to know that he cheated so I, I I'm now agreeing with you this is mm. the the funeral I wouldn't say the funeral for the show. This is the funeral no, 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 for no. Will Schuster. Well, this is the funeral for the show as it was, because I do think it is reborn. I think we have to get rid of our baggage for what was I, the first half of the season. I'm, I'm happy with everything else that's going on. Um, uh-huh. The the I think that there is going to be a, a, a carrying on. There is going to be a problem with plot lines not maybe holding their course for a through line and all that kind of stuff that I've been complaining about. So maybe that, you're right, is like the funeral for the show. But specifically, I can still enjoy the show and look past those. I don't think, if they aren't going to address this again, which I, right. I, in my head, they are. Like, I, I feel like they have to. But so that I don't mention it every episode, this is the funeral for Will Schuster. Uh, Great. He is now, uh, in the next episode, he is a different character for me. Yes, and cringe he is, man. He is like uh, the Prestige. He has been fucking killed, and there is a new version of him Spoiler that now exists. Spoiler alert, bro. I've fucking never seen it. It's on referencing a film that we've referenced in this podcast multiple times. Fuck you. I've never seen it. Is Nicolas Cage in it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, Adele Dazeem. <laughs> Shit. Um, also, do you keep on uh, drinking from a straw? I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> no, it's okay, but I can just hear, and the viewers will also be able to hear. <laughs> yeah, good. They're gonna, they can feel uh, at one with the content. At one point, I heard it during the, uh, oh, live, record. Yeah, the for sure. audio recording, and I yeah. thought someone was just chugging a Slurpee in like the one of the off scenes. In it the sounded background like it came from the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's just me getting so a little- So if you heard that, it wasn't Sue Sylvester taking a drink when the camera yeah. wasn't on her. It was It was, uh, it was me. Stunts. Yeah. But yeah, so Will Schuster is now dead. Rest in peace, Will Schuster. I am looking forward to Will Schuster 2 joining the show next episode and yes. being madly in love with Emma and not addressing anything negative that's happened because nothing negative has happened because he's a new character and all the exactly. baggage is They gone. can have a great relationship. Yeah. What is annoying is I wonder how many funerals for Will Schuster we're going to have to have because I don't think this is the last uh, yeah. time he's going to do something cringe and then us forget about it. So we'll Will see. Schuster 2 will also have to be put down. Yeah. yeah. We need to keep <laughs> a count. Every, every time that I get annoyed, we kill him and I'll reset and then we'll carry on. <laughs> um, we should do that for every character. That'll be fun. See how many yeah. characters need to get killed because... I also feel like Quinn gets killed every episode. We're on like Quinn 9 at this point. This is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, the problem is Quinn gets killed, but she also gets reborn like better because sometimes she's actually sick. She's, sometimes and so she's those, to me, sometimes she's a dickhead. Yeah, they even out. So she hasn't been killed yet. Only wasn't one she, character we've given up on. At the start of the episode, she was drawing something cringe, wasn't she or something? She was. It was a picture of Rachel and it said loser and it was like kind of like <laughs> ugly. Yeah. Which is a crazy thing to add because then the rest of the episode, she was kind of based as hell. She was, yeah. it was like just women's weird, empowerment and stuff. And she had that one funny line about uh, stop singing your <laughs> in the baby or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but it was great. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're upsetting the baby or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, she's a great character. I just, she should be more steadfast in her opinions because it feels like, it doesn't feel like a character trait. It feels like the show doesn't know what she actually thinks. Um, Completely which, agree. Completely agree. What else happened this episode, Stans? Uh, I've screamed too much about Will Schuster. It's blocked everything out of my brain. Yeah, uh, so I think the important thing to note about them, like, having sex, losing their virginity, is that both Rachel and Finn lied to each other, but in the opposite way. Oh, yeah, uh, one did, one yeah, didn't. Rachel lied to Finn and said, like, oh, yeah, I did have sex, and it was really not that big a deal uh, when she wasn't ready and decided to actually, like, say, I'm not ready, which is great. And then Finn told her, like, I was, you know, wasn't ready, but really, he had sex with Santana. Yeah. 
which mm-hmm. he was like, I didn't feel anything, which is crazy yeah. because he came in a he hot met tub. Emotionally. You were like, what? You didn't come on the live record? <laughs> no, like, but he, I didn't mean he didn't come. I meant like, he obviously did come and his first you time. You didn't mean Finn? No, oh, he was like, that was he didn't know it was that he didn't <laughs> fucking, he was like, I didn't, it wasn't, there wasn't anything from that, right? Yeah. So like, that's yeah. fucking crazy. I'm sorry, on your first time, this, you, you were like, you were like, from someone, a character that is known to get so horny in a hot tub yeah. that he came in his pants yeah. whilst making yeah. out with no contact whatsoever. You're saying this person... Because that was love. That was love and this is lust, bro. And that's why there was red lights in the background. She was a demon and yeah. she's and ruining Yeah, and he apparently life. wasn't a demon and had a really bad time. And I'm just <laughs> saying that's, that's not great for him, obviously. But also, yeah. he, that's why I was saying he didn't he fucking clearly... He, he wasn't with the right person. He didn't do it right, dude, is what I'm saying. Sure. If he's like, oh, sure. I don't know. And she, yeah. she was talking about him the buying thing burgers is, and stuff. If this show is, we talked a lot about a remake of this, you know, at the beginning of this episode. Oh, if yeah. this show was made today, you know this episode is Finn getting pegged by Santana. <laughs> and he's just like, no! I don't get what the big deal is. I didn't feel, you know, it's like, I'm, this is what losing your virginity is okay, like for uh, sure. Genuine billion question. Billion um, yeah. If there is a remake of Glee, yeah. do they... I hadn't even considered this. Do they just do this every single plot the same? I think they do the plots that are based the same and the ones that are questionable, they redo. Because if they're hitting all the same story beats, that feels wrong. Because especially Dude, considering... What are you talking about nostalgia? Did you not watch the new Star Wars ones? You're like, wait, this is familiar. <laughs> yeah, but they're pretending like they're not new. They're not rehashing, sorry. Um, right, 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 right. Like this, it would feel like if they did like a Finn storyline, uh, and like there's a new person they don't get to experience Finn for being Finn. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm fine if they're doing a new storyline that is like in the world of Glee or whatever. That's like kind of similar. Um, uh-huh. In the same way that like High School Musical, the series, the musical, the musical, the, the show, series. which you've watched a hundred episodes of now, uh, <laughs> only three still. I need to fucking get on it. But um, that's like in the same world and it's very similar but it isn't high school musical it's like Mm -hmm. if you like high school musical you'll like this show but uh and it hits all the same beats but in a different way um Mm -hmm. i think if they did that with glee it would be sick but i would hate to see someone being finn that isn't Corey monteith i would hate to see someone right being santana that isn't uh naya rivera and well, let's just say she's not going to come back to reprise her role. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, I, I mentioned those things specifically. Uh, thank you, Stance. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, would feel... Dead? Yes, dude. Corey Monteith's oh. dead. What? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You did know that. He's like the I know, most I, I know famous. You had told me people died. I thought before. Puck died. Yeah, I know you've uh, told yeah, me he's for sure. Dead. I'm not saying I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that Puck was dead. I couldn't remember the other ones. Santana and Finn are both dead. Yeah, they're, they're the three. Um, and it's huge because they're like fucking main. Can I pitch you characters. something really quick? I don't know. After that. Okay, I won't. No, I'm, I'm cringing. I'm ready. I'm preparing myself. Final Destination style horror movie. The stars were on a show and then one by one they're dying after the fact. You know what I'm saying? It's coming for them. So, I, it's like the ring or whatever, <laughs> or fucking it follows. They're all I'm getting fucking to followed out in this universe. Yeah, uh, is it Glee? And that people are playing. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the equivalent of Glee. They are on like a musical, you know, high school TV show, and then That's they're slowly dying. And awful, they realize something's dude, happening. It's like crazy. Scream. What's wrong um, with it? Well, they are clearly in bad taste, <laughs> right? Why? I don't have to be you know, I'm a fucking genius to say that. It's history. <laughs> Titanic won awards. <laughs> it's the Titanic of our generation. It's the Titanic of our generation. They were serving so hard. <laughs> the toilet was overflowing. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, that's, all, that's all I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but my point is that it would feel uh, like I would be upset that a new generation would be discovering these characters not through the actors. And I think it feels even worse that they've passed away since when Mm -hmm. they're like the roles that they were most known for that they fucking like killed it's not even like oh they're they're not like they're good of a character or they didn't do a really good performance um like naya rivera specifically is like Mm -hmm. basically a side character for most of the show and Mm -hmm. is slowly being introduced as a main character to the point where like season three she is like a rival of rachel basically like she is the fucking prima donna fucking big she's the mean girl she's the big bollocks yeah Yeah. uh it's 
and she does that purely off her performance and her ability and her charisma like an acting prowess she's she kills it and earns her place like as a mainstay on the show um mm. so it would feel really bad for someone to just take that role from her that she like built up herself basically like those those kind of sense. vibes you know um mm. uh, not to say that it, i wouldn't watch a new show if they did it but it would just feel a little bit wrong so i don't know maybe they should do different plot lines but then is it glee that's ah, really tricky i don't know yeah I mean, it's just literally it's just high school musical show. I'll be honest, yeah. it's fucking simple. That's all you need. Everything else can be new. Because uh, if they remade uh, Twilight, which we've talked about on our on the Twilight episode, um, mm. I'd be okay with them just doing the same story again. So I don't know. Maybe it is because some of the characters have passed away, and because it's a TV show, so it lasted longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, that I have like more of a connection, and I fucking love Glee. I don't know. Um, yeah, would you be upset at like a Harry Potter remake, which is same story, but um, I mean, yes, but that's for different reasons. <laughs> that's because we shouldn't touch Harry Potter with a fucking ten foot pole because I don't want to oh, give Jacob Rowling. Oh, you just yeah, because um, you don't want more people to come at your queen. JK. Yes, I want her to be left alone and just back in millions. Yeah. Leave J.K. alone. Um, no, but I mean, like separate from that, um, mm-hmm. it would feel a little weird. Yeah, I feel like they're so maybe it's how iconic they are. But then mm. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson are so iconic, but I think I'd be okay with a Twilight remake. Hmm. I, I don't know. It. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about uh, like remakes and if it makes you feel weird or if you think it should or shouldn't happen because I'm conflicted and I don't know why that I'm okay with some and not okay with others. Uh, Speaking of Twilight, we have a task. We do. Yo, uh, do you think, before we move on, do you think we've covered everything that you want to talk about from the episode? Oh, yeah, for sure. I screamed a lot, so I think think we Yeah. Um, People know that I have never said Quinn was a villain. That's all we need to move on from. um, Okay. Actually, final things of the episode. Uh, I thought it was really good. Um, Bit too much music, uh, and I wish the plots were maybe a bit more, you know, fucking actually focused on. Um, Right. But it's a Madonna episode. They, if they're going to yeah. do too much music for an episode, it would be a Madonna episode. So that's fine. Yeah, it's not like the Nickelback episode and they play the whole discography or something. <laughs> oh, you know? dude. I th- yeah. They've got to do a Nickelback song at some point, right? I I'm can't remember. I'm sure they do. But... And they probably address the meme of it. I Here's the crazy thing. I have nothing against Nickelback. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you love graphs. So. Uh, sorry, I don't get that. I love what? Uh, look at this graph. You know? Oh, it's so... <laughs> yeah, yes. And he holds up a, a literal graph. Yeah, yeah. holds yeah. up graph. Yeah, very cool. Very cool, man. Very cool. Um, All right. Yeah. So are you there with some accounting? Let's talk about the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I want, let's do some accounting, some admin. Um, yes. Because first of all, thank you very much, everyone that's been tuning in recently. Um, we've had a huge spike in patrons and uh, it's very, very sick that you guys get to watch along with us. And because of that, not only did we hit the new moon goal, which means we have to watch new moon. Stan's is so happy about that. Woo! <laughs> hey, no, not woo. Oh, oh, that's me for this episode. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, so we're gonna do that at some point. Um, we there was. I don't, do we want to leak? We already leaked. Oh, I leaked elsewhere. I leaked on stream. No, yeah, the two hundred will leak. Do we want to leak what we maybe said? I because I don't know if we're gonna do the new moon like next episode because we might stand still you're the gonna blanks. have to leak to me unless uh, you're talking might... about waiting till we're in person do it in person yeah okay yeah 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 fair fair fair, fair. um yeah but... i don't know uh, we could probably do new moon not in person but we'll still we'll do something in person no matter what yes uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah i think what well, the reason i was thinking new moon is uh, a you posited it i thought it was a good idea um mm-hmm. but also like if two of you, like you and Rochelle, if you're already in person and I'm not, it's it's already kind of like a weird vibe that one person's on Discord and one the other two aren't. So sure, it sure. might be less weird if we're all in person, but um, yeah, it's just camera setup and stuff's gonna be really. Yeah, weird. I was trying that's, to think of what that was. Yeah. <laughs> no idea how we do that. Which but... doesn't need to be like part of the live podcast talk here. We're like, yeah, where are we gonna <laughs> Let's rig discuss this the lighting. camera? Well, what yeah. we're saying is that's gonna happen, but. Uh, the reason that it's not going to be like next episode is because mm-hmm. a Rochelle obviously needs to fucking return. 
Um, yes. And B, we'll figure out what we're going to do, whether it'll be in person or not. But there is going to be... Pilled. I'm uh, glee-pilled, bro. Yeah, there's also... this is That's the biggest leak, I think. There is going to yeah. be some actual in-person binge and cringe, which is sick. Crazy that I flew all the way to fucking the US last time and Stance went to North mm-hmm. Korea, but, you know, mm-hmm. things happen. Um, yeah. <laughs> I thought, sorry, I thought you were going to jump in and correct. The, you nope, know, I was North in North Korea. Korea. <laughs> I was just chilling there. I was pulling some trains. <laughs> <laughs> that has plus two. Um, yeah. That's a crazy reference. If you haven't seen the memes, um, yeah, and if you haven't seen the memes, then go to my YouTube channel. It's true. not only in an old video; it's in a video that uh, oh, it's going to come out soon. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So we've hit the new moon goal, like I said, which we'll do at some point. We've also hit two hundred patrons, which was our second secret goal that you have leaked on stream, but we haven't told the viewers. Uh, yes. I'll let you do the honors, Stans. Yeah, we are going to be watching. It's not Naked and Afraid. It's not Naked. Your Naked Attraction. Naked Attraction. And we're going to be watching Naked Attraction, a British show, dating show, where a screen is slowly lifted and it is revealed the other person's nude body as they decide if they want to take them on a date or not. It's crazy. Yeah. It's cringe. To be clear, uh, we're going to face watch it. last. That's the best yes. part about it. Yeah. <laughs> He yeah. goes from toes to head. Uh, <laughs> and there's a head in between sometimes. Um, so it's going to be insane. Um, we were originally uh, going to try and film this in person. And now we could maybe film it in person. But we were both saying that maybe it's weirder in person. And we could maybe hide behind the fact that we can't see each other when we're watching it. Yeah, I think it would be nice to watch it not in person. Um, but then also that makes it better for us. But is that worse then for the viewers because we're cringing less? I don't like I think the part of it is like us being uncomfortable. That's funny. Yeah. So I don't know. But I mean. We will be cringy. The problem is it's off cam because we do it with, uh, you have to like sync it up. So that's the real problem. Well, so I'm thinking because we we can't sync it up. Uh, and also- No, we, they, they have to sync it up themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, because it's not on Disney Plus. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Should um, be. Should be. We also probably aren't going to do a half an hour recap of the naked no. episode afterwards. Uh, we, we might. Maybe we have some thoughts about it. Like so, how crazy it is the show even exists. We'll see. What I'm thinking is it's not a podcast episode and we just mm-hmm. post it as like its own thing. So we could, mm. like as a new interesting thing, we could just have our visuals there, which I think we need to for this kind of thing, right? Right. Yeah, but we'd have no... Would we have audio? Is that legal? Uh, yeah, we no just don't... We, we let them sync up. So it's the same as we do with the audio, but... Uh, I see. We don't, yeah, we don't play the audio of what we're Got watching. Got it, Patreon only. It's just our faces reacting to it. Yeah, okay. the same. Um, yeah, I did I Saltburn the same way, and it seemed to work really well, because that's another mm-hmm. kind of uh, thing that you want to see people's visual reactions to. You want to see me fucking nearly throw right. up, uh, unironically gag <laughs> through the fucking Ooh. movie. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a similar thing. I think it would be very funny to watch our reactions to it. Uh, so we'll try and we'll figure out where's best to post that. I'm assuming Patreon. I'm thinking I'm just going to put it up there on the the free thing so everyone can see it as like a fucking, here you go, free, woo, reward. Yeah, we hit the patrons, do it, yeah. Um, so it'll probably be there, but we'll let you know when that happens. Um, but that is coming soon too. So just want to say thank you for all the support recently. It's been very, very nice, um, especially because we recorded a bunch of things. We did like three episodes in one week um, and then released them for like around Christmas and the New Year's. Um, so seeing the delayed response from like all the things that we did uh, over the last couple of weeks has been really nice. So thank you for all the nice yeah, comments. <laughs> Stan doesn't like you though, so he doesn't have anything. Yeah, nice I, I know. I gave him a wink and a little nudge. So you just get, oh, it's you like gave a, him it's a, a wink and joke. a nudge. So I, that's yeah. all you need from good old Stan. Yeah, it's a wink and a exactly. nudge. Exactly. I actually I pointed the blicky at him, but I didn't want to say it because when you called me out, I was like, it's kind of weird that I did that. <laughs> it's kind of weird that you shot the audience. Yeah. Um, yeah, but in, so, in a sweet way uh, and all that's left stands is apparently something that people actually sit and wait for every single episode of course I told you that They're, they want to know what it's going to be <laughs> no, and you didn't believe people, me at all people heard you say that and then went yeah of course I sit and wait for that because that's the kind of yeah. audience we have they'll say the thing that one of us doesn't want them to say to be and then cringe. they'll actually did, did anyone say Baba Booey and do I owe them a dollar <laughs> no one said really anything wait. no one ever says the thing that we tell them Damn. to even Damn. if I'm 99% sure there are at least like 500 people that listen to the point of the like the whole entire episode they get to the end right. but they uh-huh. no one leaves a comment saying the thing that we asked them to say no one has ever 
haven't done it. It's crazy. Hey, here's the crazy thing. It's two dollars now. I'm doubling it. <laughs> Yo, well, they have to say this time stands. Uh, they have to. They still have to say Baba Booey. But I will send us out, ladies and gentlemen. As you leave, taste the rainbow. Oh, I actually quite like that one. That's good. Oh, now you like it. Now that the people like yeah, it. Yeah, hey, fucking LGBTQ+. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cheers. See you next week.